How y'all guys doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs, back with another video. And so for this video, I wanna give a list of my top five rarest hog nose morphs. That's just in my opinion. Just coming from my research, looking through the different websites and blogs and Facebook groups and YouTube videos and things like that. So I just thought I, this would be a cool video to compile a list of my opinions of what are some of the hardest morphs to get your hands on. So before I get down to the top five list, I just want to mention two of my honorable mentions. The first one is going to be the Sable Gene, which is a pretty new morph and it's pretty much a darker animal. It's a recessive gene and the reason why this gene didn't make the top five is because you can find these on Morph Market, there's a few of them listed. On kingsnake.com, there's a few of them listed. You can also easily find hex for them. Uh, so snakes that are like a normal or a conda that carries the sable gene. The only thing about this, uh, because the sable gene is relatively new and, and not a lot of people are working with it, they're very expensive, um, especially if you have them combined with other recessive traits. Um, and so the next uh, morph I want to talk about that's an honorable mention would be the lavender gene. And so this is a snake that is like a light purple color, which is actually pretty cool to have a purple snake. And so this is a recessive gene just like the sable. And just like the sable, I didn't add it to the list because you can find lavenders, lavender snakes for sale. They're going to be expensive. You can also find the heads. But like I say, you can get hold of them if you have the financial means to do so. So now let's get down to my top five list. Number five is gonna be the, Di the Diablo gene. And so this gene is very special because it doesn't affect the pattern and it doesn't affect the color. It affects the eyes of the snakes. So the Diablo gene actually causes the iris of the snake's eye to be black. So the snake will have a black pupil and a black iris, giving the snake a solid black eye, similar to what you see in the super arctic, but the Diablo affects other uh, morphs. And I've seen pictures of snakes that look like they were albino, like a, 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 red, a really reddish albino. I think it might be just like an extreme red snake, but they have like these jet black eyes and it looks really cool. And looking at morph market, when you go to like the, the tab that says sold, you'll see all the hog noses that have been sold on morph market. And it's only one Diablo that's been sold. And this one was actually sold like a month ago. And the crazy thing about this snake is it only had one eye that was solid black and the other eye was normal. So I decided to put that because it's very hard to find and it's not a lot known about this genetic trait, whether it's recessive, whether it's dominant. I wanted to put this at number five. All right, so number four on the list is gonna be the true hypo melanistic morph. And so this right here is a recessive morph. And a lot of people confuse this with the more common hypo morph, um, such as the Evans or the Dutch hypo. But it's actually different than the true hypo. So the true hypo, I don't think is, a, is an albino. I think it's like a T positive albino instead of a T negative albino. So this snake still has your black eyes. It has a black tongue. And it kind of has like a white background with a kind of faded out orange pattern. And then on the underbelly, you still have black checkering. So it's basically a snake that has less melanin or less black concentration. And this snake is very hard to find. You will not find these snakes available anywhere, whether it's King Snake, Morph Market, Facebook. I don't think that many people are working with this snake. And when I went to Morph Market and I looked at the ones that were sold, it was only two of them that have been sold and they were priced at over $2,000. So definitely wanted to put that on the list at number four. So number three, and this is kind of going to be different from the other morphs because all the ones that I've listed uh, before this one have been single gene morphs, but this one is going to be a multi-gene one. So number three is going to be the Snow Super Conda. And so in my opinion, the reason why I put this as number three is you will not see people selling a snow superconda. And in my opinion, the snow gene just by itself, that the visual anxantic mixed with the visual uh, albino is probably the most, most popular morph. Whenever you see a snow posted online for sale, if you're interested in this morph, you better get it that day. Don't wait because it's gonna be sold in less than a day. 
and, and like right now the males are going for like $500 and I think the females are going around $700 and so when you add the, the conda to the snow I just seen a male get listed on Morph Market for $1,400 and it sold like that. So just imagine when you add the Super Conda to the snow and then you get a pure white animal. Um, that's pretty hard to get. It's gonna, if you start off with like Hex or even if you start off with like just a snow Conda, it may take you a few years to hit the eyes to get the snow Super Conda. And I've never seen anybody list these. Whenever people produce these snakes right there, they have these as holdbacks, man, because they're so pretty. They're one of the cleanest looking hog nose snakes to uh, date. And so now let's get into the number two rarest hog nose morph. And this is going to be the leucistic hog nose morph. And so this is another recessive trait. And it actually has an interesting story. Um, it's a snake that is basically patternless. Um, and it's kind of like a pinkish white color. It still has like the black eyes and the black tongue. And this, the story behind it is, I think these snakes were originally found in the wild in Illinois. And the thing about the state of Illinois, it's either illegal to have them or you have to have like a permit to keep hognose snakes. So the guy that caught them and was raising them in his home, for some reason his house got raided. From, from what the story I've heard. And he also had other snakes that he shouldn't have had, like other venomous snakes. So uh, the police took his hognose snake and they donated it to a zoo in Illinois. And so for like for years, those snakes were in a zoo. And then eventually the zoo sold it to a private breeder. That breeder bred the snake, produced heads, produced other leucistic snakes. And that's kind of how they're on the market. And so the reason why this snake is number two is because not a lot of people have it. And the ones that are, are being sold are going for like $8,000. Even the hets are very expensive. Even a 50% hets that you see are very expensive. So I definitely wanted to put that on a list and that's number two. So the number one rarest hog nose morph, in my opinion, is a morph that I don't think a lot of people even know about. And it is called the Swiss chocolate morph. And so this is very unique. Um, and it's not even a lot of pictures of this snake right here. So it's pretty much characterized as a dark brown animal. Sometimes I've seen pictures of them where they had a dark head and then like their body was a dark brown. And it's kind of similar to like the sable morph because it's a darker animal. But the guy that owns this snake or owns like this morph, he actually posted a picture of a side by side comparison of the Swiss chocolate and the sable, and you can see the Swiss chocolate is a lot darker. The reason why I put this as the number one rare snake morph is because only one person has the snake morph, the guy that produced it. And it's kind of weird because the guy lives in Switzerland, and I was kind of wondering how in the world did somebody from Switzerland get a new hog nose morph when hog noses are native to the United States? You would think that all the hog nose morphs will probably come from the United States unless he just randomly hatched out one of these animals or if he got it imported. I'm not really sure, but he pretty much is keeping all of his snakes, all the babies and things like that, raising them up. And I think he's trying to prove out to see what type of gene it, it is, whether it's like recessive, whether it's incomplete dominant or whatever but I'm pretty sure whenever he released these snakes to the public and when they whenever these morphs become more available it's gonna cost gonna cost you an arm and a leg but that's pretty much my top five y'all let me know what y'all think and y'all have a nice day